What is going on guys? Grave here. Since we're getting really close to the big reveal of everything we can expect content wise this year, of course that happens on January the 27th. A lot of people in the community have been going on the forums talking about things they would like to see added into the game. And I've been seeing a lot of people talk about mini games and, and table games and card games and things of that nature being added in. And it's something I have discussed here on the channel before, but I'm seeing this gain more and more traction. And I think a lot of people would like to see this considering some people may not be in a guild or they're in a guild that really does not do a lot of activities besides maybe in-game content and things of that nature. And they're looking for more, I guess, kind of social things to do in-game. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And be sure to like the video. It helps me out a lot. And if you really enjoy the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, when it comes to table games and things of that nature, or even mini games, there's a lot of other uh, games out there that have this kind of stuff. So a lot of people have been suggesting that you can go to the different inns and the different areas in the Elder Scrolls Online and the different zones and play things like cards, drinking games, darts, board games, whatever the case may be. And I look at a lot of other games and I think of some that have come out over the last few years. Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Online has the option to play poker. Now, which did not go over very well because some countries considered it to be gambling. So some countries were not allowed to play poker in Red Dead Online, but it was still a neat concept. I also look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Of course, they had their own kind of table game that was available there, kind of based off that Viking lore. I think ESO could do something of that nature, uh, basing it off lore, whether it be you know, some type of drinking game, maybe uh, they had that in Assassin's Creed Valhalla too, but they also could have some different board games or table games that you could play in the end with other players. So, you know, you could have so many players sit down at a table and just enjoy, you know, whatever game that is available there. Like I said, some players have, you know, suggested drinking games, table games, darts, whatever the case may be in the end. But I think having different mini games or maybe some different kind of table uh, games tied to these different ends and these different locations would be a lot of fun. When it comes to mini games, I've already talked about this in the past, having things like, uh, you know, fishing mini games or in world activities that kind of just pop up on a timer that are different, different games in different zones, you know, things that players can, you know, kind of compete against each other and with each other at the same time. Uh, it'd be kind of a social thing. And I think that's what a lot of players are really looking for is more social activity like I said, a lot of people say just join a guild when people you know mention this kind of stuff. But at the same time, we all know that most guilds are either trading guilds or in-game PvP guilds. There's There are some role-playing guilds and just some social guilds out there. But for the most part, a lot of the guilds in the game are doing, you know, harder content or just, you know, doing trading and that kind of stuff. There's not really a lot of social aspect to it. Now, some guilds do a really great job of doing auctions and different things, you know, with the community or with their community every, you know, every week or whatever the case may be. But I know there's a lot of players out there that may not want to join a guild. Maybe they are, you know, looking just to kind of be in the free realm and be able to, you know, socialize with other players a little bit easier. And I think having some type of board games or mini games added in would be a really neat uh, thing that Zoss could, you know, potentially do in the future. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you would like to see added in. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.